Greetings, unsettled souls! Please do not tune out. You're looking at my screen because I am about to read Dr. Seuss. And it has been brought to my attention that much of what is offending people who should not be offended, because there's nothing offensive in it, many of those people who choose to be offended and, of course, seek victimhood are most upset also by the artwork as much as the words of Dr. Seuss. So because I know that white privilege is a myth, because I know that America is by and large as much as any place can be a post-racial society, and because I've always wanted to be a father. Here's Mr. McElligot's pool. Right on St. Patrick's Day, McElligot, maybe, hey, that should make many uh, cultural appropriators upset, even though I am Irish, at least on my mother's side. Here is McElligot's Pool by Dr. Seuss, and I will be making sure to read slowly and leaving pauses so that you may ad admire the artwork, which you are not supposed to see. This book is dedicated to T.R. Geisel, it says, of Springfield, Massachusetts the world's greatest authority on blackfish, fiddler crabs, and digel trout. Written and illustrated by Dr. Seuss, Random House, New York. Young man, laughed the farmer. You're sort of a fool. You'll never catch fish in McGulligan's pool. The pool is too small and you might as well know it. When people have junk, here's the place that they throw it. You might catch a boot, you might catch a can, you might catch a bottle, but listen, young man, if you sat 50 years with your worms and your wishes, you'd long grow a beard before you'd catch any fishes. Because we, because you never can tell what goes on down below. This pool might be bigger than you or I know. Hmm, answered Marco. It may be, you're right. I've been here three hours without one single bite. There might not be fish. But then again, well, there might. This might be a pool like I've read of in books. Connected to one of those underground brooks. An underground river that starts here and flows right under the pasture. And then, well... Who knows? It might go along down where no one can see, right under State Highway 203, right under the wagons, right under the toes of Mr. Ambruso, who's hanging out close. It might keep on flowing, perhaps, who can tell? Right under the people in Sneedon's Hotel. Right under the grass where they're playing croquet, then under the mountains and far, far away. There might be a river, now mightn't it be, connecting McElligot's pool with the sea. Then maybe some fish might be swimming toward me. If such a thing could be, they certainly would be. Some very smart fellow might point out the way to the place where I'm fishing, and that's why I say, if I wait long enough, if I'm patient and cool, who knows what I'll catch in McGulligan's pool. I might catch a thin fish. I might catch a stout fish. I might catch a short or a long, long, drawn-out fish. Any kind, any shape, any color, any size, I might catch some fish that would open your eyes. I wouldn't be surprised if a dogfish appears, complete with a collar and long flappy ears, woofing along, and perhaps he might chase a whole lot of catfish right straight to this place. I might catch a fish with a pinwheel-like tail. I might catch a fish who has fins like a sail. I might catch a fish with a long curly nose. I might catch a fish 
like a rooster that crows. I might catch a young fish, some high-jumping friskers. I might catch an old fish with long, flowing whiskers. I might catch a fish with a checkerboard belly, or even a fish made of strawberry jelly. I might catch a seahorse, now mightn't I now. I might catch a fish who is partly a cow. Some fish from the tropics, all sunburned and hot, might decide to swim up. Well, they might. Might they not? Racing up north for a dance to get cool. Full steam ahead from a galligant's pool. Some Eskimos fish from beyond Hudson Bay might decide to swim down, might be headed this way. It's a pretty long trip, but they might, and they may. I might catch an eel. Well, I might, it depends. A long, twisting eel. With a lot of strange bends, and oddly enough, with a head on both ends. One doesn't catch this kind of fish as a rule, but the chances are fine in McGulligan's pool. I might catch a fish with a terrible grouch. Or an Australian fish with a kangaroo's pouch. Who wants to catch small ones like mackerel and trout? Say, I'll catch a sawfish with a long snout that he needs an assistant to help him out. With such a long snout, pardon me. If I wait long enough, if I'm patient and cool, who knows what I'll catch at McGallagher's pool. Some roughneck old lobster, all gristle and muscle, might grab at my bait. Then would I have to hustle. To land one so tough might take two or three hours. But the next might be easy. The kind that likes flowers. I might catch some sort of fast-moving bloke who zips through the waves with a one-arm stroke. I might, and I may, and that's really no joke. A fish even faster, a fish if you please, who slides down the slides of strange islands on skis. Some circus fish, fish from an acrobat school, might stage a big show in McGilligan's pool. Or I might catch a fish from a stranger place, from the world's highest river, in a far off Pardon me. Oh, I might catch a fish from a stranger place yet, from the world's highest river in far-off Tibet, where the falls are so steep that it's dangerous to ride them. So the fish put on chutes so they float down beside them. From the world's deepest ocean, from way down below, from down in the mud where the deep rivers go, from down in the mire and the muck and the murk, I might catch a fish who are all going glurk. Whales! I'll catch whales! Yes, a whole herd of whales. <coughs> all spouting their spouts and thrashing their tails. I'll catch 50 whales, then I'll stop for the day, because there's nothing much bigger than whales, so they say. Still, of course, it might be that there is something bigger. Some sort of a kind of thingamajigger. A fish that's so big, if you know what I mean, that he makes a whale look like a tiny sardine. Oh, the sea is so full of a number of fish. 
If a fellow was patient, he might get his wish. And that's why I think that I'm not such a fool when I sit here and fish at McElligot's Pool. I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Please share it, support free speech, and remember, you can donate at the correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal. Thank you, and have a blessed day. Please share this with your children.